It's not just a game. The 75 squad members from the Navy team training before the American college football season opener. Around 40,000 Americans have travelled here to see Navy take on Notre Dame and to take part in a host of other activities. 12 high school football teams are also taking to the field as part of this football spectacular weekend at Park Cholton in Navan, Parnell Park in Dublin and here at Donnybrook Stadium. Let's go Rangers! These events will be screened to millions of people across the US. I think for the American people watching this, it'll really give them a positive message. You know, we did a parade yesterday right down Nassau Street into Trinity Park. Uh, the boys have gone out into, into Drogheda and the County Mead and Wicklow. They've seen all that and all that's being shown back in America. So it'll, it'll leave a great impression about Ireland. While the footballing weekend is expected to be worth almost 100 million euro to the economy, it's hoped there will be more long-term economic benefits to Irish business. The IDA brought 160 American business people to this match today. There's a very high level of C-level executives visiting Dublin this week. And uh, this gives us an opportunity to meet them, to cement existing relationships and to build new relationships in terms of building new projects for us for the future. Ireland is one of the top in the ranking to do business because you find a lot of top talent in Ireland that you don't find sometimes in every other country out there. You find people that are very talented in the, in the software business, in the, in the development of web pages, language skills. It's very interesting. But for now, all eyes are on the Emerald Isle Classic. Katrina Perry, RTE News.